Okay, I want to quickly review and explain what we've done here. Before I do that, I'm going to eliminate this line of code right here. We don't need that. I was leaving that there for reference. I'm going to cut that out and save it. So now we have a fully dynamic menu in here. Okay, so if I go over here and look at it and refresh, all of these links come directly from our database and we can modify them, essentially modify the information in our database by adding links from here. And as we add more pages, they'll show up here on the left and then we can just drag and drop and kind of reorder however we want to over here. So I'm gonna hit save and there we go. So what's going on here? How is it working? A real quick recap. So first of all, this structure here this is used for displaying the menu in any of our kind of view files, right? So this index.php, the purpose of it is for presentation. So I could, I could copy and paste this in other areas as well, but it's here. And what's happening is we're saying, this is the most important line. We're saying that the theme location for this menu is called primary. And what that means is it's linking whatever's gonna be output here, it's linking that to the menu we've registered here in functions. And then we activated that menu over here in our admin section at manage locations, right here where it says primary menu. We can create as many menus as we want or our clients can by clicking create new menu right here. And then we can go over here and assign it to our primary menu. And that primary menu showed up because of this line of code right here. Okay, so I know that's a little bit hard to grasp at first, but without going into too much detail about databases and things like that, this is a pretty decent way of registering menus. And you can actually add multiple menus. And if you go to the WordPress codex, their documentation, you can read about how to do that, adding multiple menus and placing them in different places and then assigning your custom menus over here, you know, to the actual menus that you add in your code. Okay, so I don't want to get into that right now because that could get a little more hairy, but hopefully this is a bit clearer for you now. So again, this chunk of code here, where we're registering the menu, that's what enables us to see this new primary menu in our admin screen over here. And then when we edit and create new menus, we can assign it to that primary menu. And now we can display primary menu in any of our pages. In this case, we're displaying it right here in the header section of our index page. And the way we display it looks like this. Now, the reason why we use these single quotes here, just so you know, is because primarily because of this guy right here. So this is a chunk of PHP code. And the reason why we keep this line of code as well as this line of code is because without them, and I'll just kind of cut them out and show you, you don't have to do this. If I cut those and leave it very basic like this and go over here and refresh, you'll see it loads it up differently. And that's because the default behavior of this function that WordPress, the, the developers that WordPress created, the default function is to add some HTML. It injects HTML when you leave it like this without specifying the two other things we added. And that HTML doesn't click well with Bootstrap. So it loads in and it's doing its own thing and it doesn't click well with the Bootstrap code because Bootstrap has an opinionated way of how navigation menus should show up and you kind of have to follow their rules when you use Bootstrap. So you can even right click and hit inspect and see what's going on. You see it's injecting this div over here and it's also injecting this additional uh, unordered list inside of our bootstrap unordered list. And that may not make much sense to you if you're not familiar with bootstrap menus, but that's the problem here. So when we add these two lines of code, I'll just undo it. We're saying get rid of that div and get rid of that unordered list. And this is how we do that using uh, PHP.